This is a video on strings part two. Um, when we use strings, don't forget we have to pound include string up here. And today we're going to start learning some uh, method. Uh, I'm sorry, we're going to be learning about some uh, functions that come along with strings. Um, so let's just create a string real quick. And we'll just do something real simple here. String x equals dog. And one of the most common functions and easiest functions we can use on a string is the length function. And the length function, right, gives us the number of characters, the length of the string. In this case, dog is three characters long. So we would say x dot length. So in order to use these functions, we're going to use something called the dot operator. So we're going to have the name of the string and then dot. And then we're going to have two little parentheses, nothing in them. Don't worry about why. And this is going to get the length of string x, which is dog. Now, we're going to, the length of a string is an integer. So we're going to store it in an int. So I'm going to say int y equals x dot length. And if I see out y, I should get 3. And there it is, three. If I have cat dog, right, and that should be six. Let me run it, and I should get six over here. Six. Now, uh, when we talk about the length of the string, it includes all and any character. So if I said cat space dog now that's a length of seven not six because a space is a character if i run it i'm going to get seven and if i put two exclamation points i should get what seven eight nine because that's one two three four with the space five six seven eight nine characters long there it is so that's it, just for length, all right? Now another function for this notes, for, for uh, these notes, is gonna be the at function. Now remember, we talked about in notes, part one, we talked about strings and how they are actually arrays of characters, and they are behind the scenes. They're actually an array of characters, and they actually, when I was teaching C back 17 years ago, we didn't, they didn't have the string object yet. They didn't have this. And we used to have to make an array of characters and then a pointer to point to that. That's how we had to deal with strings. Um, but let's get back to the app function now. Let's go back to string x equals dog. So the length of dog is three. However, since it's a, an array of characters, the characters right are indexed from zero to two. So it's a length of three, the D is index zero, the O is index one, and the G is index two. Let's do doggy. So X is doggy. Uh, the length is five, and this is indexed from zero to four. Zero, one, two, three, four. So we can get the character at any uh, index here using this at function. So to use it, we say, we say the string x, and we say dot at. Now, in the parentheses, we do put something. We want the index of the character that we want. So if I were to put zero in here, right? Well, the index, the character index zero is d. So that should return the d. Now that's returning what? A character. So we're gonna say char, whatever equals x dot at zero. And if I were to see out m, I should get the letter d, right? Because d is going to be stored. The character at zero in x, as x is d, d gets stored into m and it outputs it. So let me run it and we get d. 
right? If I put one in there, I should get the the O in doggy. Here it is. If I put the zero, one, two, three, fourth, that's the Y. Notice that the last character, notice that the index of the last character is always the length of the string minus one. So the length is five, five minus one is four. That's the last character. And there it is, Y. Now, let's say I had, I love programming. And I'm yelling it. Right, so the character at index four, that's index zero. One, two, three, four, should be the V. There it is. And that's really it for notes part two.